This is a quick instructional video showing you how to connect a MIDI controller to Caustic on Android. So you'll need three things for this. You'll need obviously a MIDI controller, that one that can connect via USB. Um, you'll need one of these. This is a USB on the go adapter. You can get them on eBay for a few bucks. Um, it's basically a female USB to male micro USB connector for your phone. And you'll need an Android device running Honeycomb or Grader. Um, this is a Samsung Galaxy Nexus running Android 4.2. Now, if you're going to be playing with MIDI, obviously you want the lowest latency possible. Um, this will depend on your device and OS, but to make sure you've got the lowest possible latency, bring up the task switcher and make sure you swipe away any running apps. That will make sure nothing's in memory and will give it the best chance to get the smallest latency possible. So I'll fire up Caustic and connect it. Now the phone powers the MIDI controller, um, but nothing will happen yet. This is because by default MIDI is turned off. So if I go into the menu, into the MIDI tab, right now MIDI is disabled, so I'll select one of these. I'll explain them later, but if I select them right now, you'll see this brings up this pop-up. This is Android asking if Caustic can have access to the device. So I'll grant it access, and so I've got some stuck notes, it seems. Still a bit experimental. Um, so right now the keyboard is controlling the machine that's on screen. So the, the MIDI options we had selected now is MIDI device controls the on-screen instrument. So that means whatever is on, currently on screen. Uh, and that includes its pattern editor. So if I switch, you can switch instruments by dragging between them. Now the other MIDI mode is one MIDI channel per instrument. So this uses the MIDI channel mapping on the keyboard. Not all keyboards have uh, channel changing functions, um, but if yours does, this is a great way of having where if I'm controlling this synth, I can still go down to the mixer and it won't focus away from that synth. So I can still, you know, adjust things like reverb and delay or put effects and hear it as it's playing. So that's the basic gist of it right now. Um, right now it's only keys that are going in, uh, no controllers. You can still use the drum pads on on a lot of the synth. The drum pads just map to keys, so you can still use those, but um, none of the keys or the, um, the controllers are mapped and there's no MIDI learn yet. This is just the first iteration. So if you've got problems with your device, um, shoot me an email and I'll try to make sure I get more devices supported in the future. Thanks.